Hi, wine friends, and happy Wine Wednesday. If you are new, I'm Ali from A Glass After Work. Thanks for joining. So today I want to share with you the wine that we're planning to open for Christmas Eve. Usually uh, we go out to a fancy steak dinner with a really good couple friends of ours, but obviously during COVID, uh, that is just not gonna happen. So instead, we're going to do a fancy steak dinner at home, just the two of us. It's, um, we got a couple of New York strips, going to do a mushroom sauce with it and some roasted butternut squash and of course a really nice bottle of wine or two. The wine I have is this uh, Chateau Tanak. It's a 2014 from the St. Julian area of Bordeaux in France. If you're not familiar with wines from Bordeaux, there's really five grapes that are used. It's Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Cabernet Franc, Malbec, and Petit Verdot. Wines that come from the left bank of Bordeaux are going to be more Cab Sauve dominated. Wines that come from the right bank like Saint Emilion or Pomerol are going to be more right bank dominated. This is a left bank wine, so it's gonna be more Cab Sauve dominated and uh, it should go really well with steak. Now, the one thing I did read about it is that it probably is going to be better having held it for a little bit longer, but um, I just, I didn't want to wait till 2023. I, I mean, it's 2020, I want to open it now. So my plan is to decant it and hopefully that will give it enough air and it will give it enough chance to breathe and we'll be able to enjoy it that way. So we'll see if my plan works. So as you can see, I have decanted the wine for tonight. And here we go. Hopefully you can see I've got my Christmas tree, Simply Charmed Magnetic Wine Charm on there because definitely need to be festive. And all right, well, it has got a nice, uh, I would say a nice ruby color. It's pretty dark. Um, if, I'm, if I'm holding it, it's a little hard to see the, the bottom of the glass. So give it a sniff. Ooh, I'm excited about this. Um, okay, so definitely some black cherries, some dark plums. I would say some blackberries in there. There's also a nice mix of spices. I'm getting some nutmeg and cloves. Also a lot of cedar, some good, uh, good woody notes in there. There's also a hint of um, like pencil shavings, like the graphite from a, from a pencil. And uh, definitely, yeah. Oh, there's so much going on in here. This is kind of exciting. All right, uh, why don't we give it a taste? Cheers. Ooh. All right, so lots of stuff going on in the mouth. Um, I would say kind of on the medium, medium, medium tannin range, definitely on the higher acidity range, medium body. This clearly has some good aging potential still left in it, uh, but it's actually, I'm really enjoying it right now. So uh, that's worked out okay. Um, so lots of those dark fruits, um, I would say black cherries, plums, still getting a lot of that cedar, a little bit of violets happening in there as well. Some, some floral action happening. Also still getting a bit of those pencil shavings. This is really, really nice. Very dry. It's leaving me, um, just kind of very, very dry in the mouth. This is going to be so good with our steak and mushroom sauce. I'm really excited about pairing it with dinner tomorrow night. So uh, I will have to take pictures and put it on Instagram and, and let you know how that, how that goes. I am also planning on doing a bonus video tomorrow and I will share the two wines that we are gonna open for Christmas day dinner. We're doing Christmas day dinner at home as well and we've ordered some food from one of our local restaurants that we enjoy going to, and I have a rosé and a red wine to go with that. So 
Tune in tomorrow to hear more about those wines. They're interestingly both French wines as well. Uh, clearly I was in a French wine mood. I would love to know what are your plans for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, if you celebrate, are you cooking? Are you ordering in? Do you have wine picked out? What is, what is your wine plan? Or are you gonna stay completely away from wine and drink something else? Let me know in the comments down below. That is everything I have for today. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate those. If you aren't already a subscriber, you can do that by clicking on the icon right here or on the subscribe button down below. But don't forget, also click on that bell because it will notify you when I upload a new video, which is gonna be every Wine Wednesday. And if you are looking for a recommendation, you can find one right there. Thanks for joining, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Wine Wednesday. Cheers.